Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. We'll continue here to perform one sample search. Um, how we can use maybe the search facilities better. For example, we want to find the commentary explanation for a particular hadith. So, for example, man ahdatha fi amrina hada ma laysa minhu fahuwa raddun. So we've heard this hadith and we want to find out where the hadith is first of all and then see what different ulama have said about it so what we could do for example we go to bahth um, delete everything um, right so let's clear all of that ilga jami'ul kutub that means that that will completely wipe out all the selected books that we have and it'll give us a clean slate okay so first of all we'll write here man ahdatha fi amrina so you you'd look for a word in that hadith which is quite unique which you suspect probably doesn't appear in any other hadith or doesn't appear in many other hadith so we're looking for the most unique wording so here man ahdatha fi amrina hadha ma laysa minhu fa huwa rad so we're probably looking for man ahdatha or we look for fa huwa rad yeah so we can try that. let's try that fa huwa rad um fa done one thing to bear in mind here is sometimes some words um, some hadith they might the same hadith might appear with different narrations with slight variations of the word so try to select words that are less likely to have variations so I think an example okay um, let's look first for where this hadith appears so um, for example, we'll just start off with because if we can find it in the main books, then it'll be easier to navigate the commentaries. Uh, Bukhari, Muslim, Abu Dawood, Tirmidhi, Nasai, Ibn Majah, uh, they're the main books when it comes to um, commentaries. Uh, and then we can search, uh, or we can search, you know, usually what I do is I'll search them, and if, if not many results come up or no results, then search all of them. So, uh, so then here we have many results for Qala ibn Abi Afan Nashish. Okay. Al Khadi Atafi Man Amila Amalan Laysa Alayhi Amruna Fahuarad. Then we have Man Ahdatafi Amrina Hada Ma Laysa Fihi Fahuarad. See? So for example here, Ma Laysa Fihi. And uh, what I said was Ma Laysa Minhu. So if I had searched for Ma Laysa Minhu, Laysa Minhu, this would not have come up. Yeah. So Fahuarad is uh, you know less likely to have uh, different variations than laysa minhu laysa fihi etc uh, the next um, example here man amila amalan laysa alayhi amruna fa huwa rad so here these these are all the uh, monks in the siha sita where this wording has come okay so that would help us locate a hadith now the second thing is um, oh another thing um sometimes it's obviously in the mutun but it might be in other collections which have commentaries like Riyadh al-Salihin, Mishkat al-Masabih etc etc so these can be found for example in Kutub al-Albani yeah? in Kutub al-Albani you can often find uh, you will probably find Riyadh al-Salihin and here you have Mishkat al-Masabih so I usually include that Mishkat al-Masabih and then you will have the other Salihin somewhere in here because he has worked on the other Salihin but it takes time for me to find that the other place where you find might find such books is in here you will often find it I don't know what order that he gets. Riyadh al-Salihin, Taba'a Risala. Riyadh al-Salihin. So we've included Riyadh al-Salihin. We've also included Mishkat al-Masabih. Um, the reason for that is that these books um, also have good commentaries. So let's search that again. After the normal Siha Sita, here we have Mishkat al-Masabih. Okay, number 140, we have Riyadh al-Salihin as well. Okay, now the good thing about finding it in these books now is we also know that it will be in the commentaries for these books. Okay, let's search again. 
one more search let's add the commentaries so how do you add the commentaries if you go to uh, hadith, uh, commentaries on hadith and then you can add um, you can add all of them if you want yeah or you can add the ones that you want to look at like example you want to look at the most famous of the shuruh sharh al-nawawi ala muslim then here you'll find fath al-bari um, etc etc milqat al-mafatih which is an ashara on mishkat you can add that um, etc etc sharh al-riyad al-salihin yeah. or you can just go to al-majmu'a to kulluha so or maybe you might want to okay let's get rid of all of the things and let's go to shuruh al-hadith and just select shuruh al-hadith only then when we search for huwa rad now the problem with that is obviously you're going to get hundreds if not thousands of results why first of all because um, that hadith you know it will appear in many shuruh uh, the other thing is that text might just appear uh, from the author he might have written فَهُوَرَدْ from his you know as part of his own text not referring to the hadith and the other thing is that he might refer to that hadith hundreds of times within his book even though he's not explaining that hadith so again um, either you have to sift through the results and how do you you know prevent yourself having to read through all these hundreds of pages as you can see that are appearing um, 125 so far so what you would do is either you can select only a few shuruh which you often look at or you want to look at so like the ones I mentioned like Sharh Nawawi you might go down and for, for example you just want to check what um, Fathul Bari and see what Ibn Hajar says you want to see what Imam Nawawi says just imagine you just want to and you want to see what Mullah Ali Qari for example says um, his book on okay we can't find his book right at the so you can just search those three books so you'll still get as you can see you'll get in a lot of results but it will be okay how did that oh no sorry that's sunnatun has come up I forgot to check that one okay we're looking for fahuwarad the search history and all the same it, it rem retains the search criteria al oh sorry that was my fault Mirqat Fathul Bari and Sharh Nawawi ok now we have less results so it's easier to sift ok so we only have 15 results again some of these might be where the author has just used that text either to refer to the hadith without explaining it or just as you know in his own language um, so that would be easier to use the other thing is we can main keep a lot of selections but we can type a bigger portion of the hadith in which means it's less likely to have uh, other things in it man ahdath example let's put man ahdath fi amdina man ahdath Again, the problem with this is this will not include other variations of the same hadith. Yeah. This one is there are other variations that we don't have. Man ahdath fi amrina. Fahuwarad is probably the most common part of that hadith, including all its variations. If we search, that will probably come with less results. Last time we had about 125 and counting. Here you can see we have less results. So this is something that you have to get used to you have to experiment with and uh, different tricks work at different times and you can never be sure that you have actually found everything because the computer is limited and the human being is limited okay so that's basically how you would use um, the search facilities if you did find something for example Sharh Nawawi ala Muslim you found a piece of text which you want to uh, you know you found very interesting very relevant or you wanted to copy it over the best way to do this is 
either you select just the part of text which you want or if it's the whole page you want you don't select anything but let's just select for example we want to take uh, we want to take that part if we use either we can just right click and copy or better we can use the inbuilt copy function naskhun nas the good thing about naskhun nas is that when it copies it over to somewhere else what will happen is it will give us the reference as well it'll say here look sharh nawawi ala muslim volume 12 page 16 it'll also tell us whether it'll copy almost the reference for us as well okay so that's a useful feature um, as far as I can see that's all we need to know to begin searching using Al-Maktab al-Shamila and inshallah the rest we'll discover as time goes by Assalamu alaikum wa